Alexander Pope. A little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deep or taste not the Pyrian spring, for their shallow drafts intoxicate the brain, but drinking largely makes us sober again. the people in the arenas here, you know, were, were underprivileged anyway. Sources are usually government spokespeople. So the product that is being turned out is promoted as being the news as an in information. But actually, it should say, this is all the information that fits within this frame. No, absolutely not. What I am is frustrated at watching uh, Orwell's 1984 unfold in front of our eyes by the day while people focus on who shot Phil Mitchell. That, that, is, that is frustrating because my children and your children, thank you, are going to have to live indeed in the timescale, so are we because we're living in it now when the most basics of, of freedoms are being taken away. Yeah, and this is happening all over the world, and it's coordinated. Now, if people want to think that that's all happening by accident, please be my guest. I don't give a damn. But, who is but the evidence, the evidence is that it's not. Eh? If it's, if it's controlled. eight leaders but also the leaders of the five countries that have joined us at this summit and this is our joint and united statement we condemn utterly these barbaric attacks we send our profound condolences to the victims and their families all of our countries have suffered from the impact of terrorism those responsible have no respect for human life. We are united in our resolve to confront and defeat this terrorism that is not an attack on one nation, but on all nations and on civilized people everywhere. We will not allow violence to change our societies or our values, nor will we allow it to stop the work of this summit. We will continue our deliberations in the interests of a better world. Here at this summit, the world's leaders are striving to combat world poverty and save and improve human life. The perpetrators of today's attacks are intent on destroying human life. The terrorists will not succeed. Today's bombings will not weaken in any way our resolve to uphold the most deeply held principles of our societies and to defeat those who would impose their fanaticism 
an extremism. On all of us. We shall prevail, and they shall not. They tried to dig, they'll be shut down real quick, right? Possibly. You know, again, you need a Jeff, license to dig. I think it's going to come to light, though. Uh, what I think is that, again, it's the teaching that we're going into an awakening. Uh, it's what you're doing. It, it always seems darkest before the dawn. It seems like, you know, that there's no hope that the new world order, what the new Illuminati is going to win. They're not going to win. They, they never have won before. They're not going to win now. It's just going to be people waking up. We have to keep giving the information out there. We have to keep telling it. And sooner enough, there'll be the critical mass. There'll be the hundredth monkey. There'll be that certain percentage of humanity that will wake up, and it will be inevitable, and they won't win.